uh, welcome or welcome back on C Square. In this video clip, we're going to talk about difference and sum of cubes. These are two important patterns on factoring polynomials, and you see them right here. Sum of cubes, the first one, difference of cubes, the second one. You have two formula, and you have two examples here. And also what you see here are the other special cases of uh, factoring that I'll suggest you to know them if you want to move fast to factoring uh, polynomial uh, in an algebra class. So let's see an example. And we see these two, this uh, start to difference of uh, cubes. And let me write the formula one more time. Uh, the formula says a cube minus b cube equals a minus b. Yeah, very important, and that is the easy part. And then we have a squared, right? We're gonna square this guy, switch the sign, it was subtraction is gonna be plus a times b, multiply uh, the two guys, and then obviously the last thing b squared. So in this case, uh, uh, let's see what we get. My suggestion is always to rewrite your uh, difference of cubes in a a way to see that difference of cubes. Oh, I'm sorry. For cube, it's for cube is uh, 64, right? Okay. So let's change that. Okay. So I will suggest you to write this second step. In my opinion, is very important because then we can see we have x minus 4. And then we're going to square the x, x squared. We're going to switch the sign. Instead of minus, we have plus. Multiply the two gentlemen, x times 4, if you want to. Right like this, plus the second gentleman, b squared. OK, so let's write the, the final form, x minus 4, x squared, plus 4x plus 16. Go ahead and stop this video clip and try uh, number two. If you end up with this result, then we did a wonderful job. Now let's see two more examples, and you see they start getting a little bit more complicated. However, we're going to use the same the same story. So here, uh, I think it helps a lot if you write in this format, right? 5x cubed, that will be 125x uh, cubed, right? The quantity 5x raised to the third power is 125x cubed minus... 3 cube, like in the previous problem. So then we have 5x minus 3, right? And then we, we're going to square the first term. We're going to switch the sign. We're going to multiply a and b, in this case 5x and 3. And we're going to square the second term in that uh, binomial we started with. Okay, so now we're going to simplify, and we have 5x minus 3, and then we have 25x squared plus 15x plus 9. Pause this video clip, please, and try number 4.
if you have this answer to number four, then you did an excellent job. And let's move to the next one. Next one, eh? a little bit different. However, let me mention something. GCF is probably the first thing that you need to take a look on factoring all poly polynomials, right? So in this case, we notice we have a three in common. Then we have eight X cubed minus one. And I'm gonna move a little bit faster with this difference of cubes. 2x minus 1, right? That is the first part. And then we're going to square 2x. We get 4x squared. Then we have uh, plus 2x plus 1. Right. That's the final answer for number 5. Try number 6, please. And if you have this answer for number 6, 2, right, that was the GCF, and then 2x minus 3, the quantity 2x minus 3, and then times that quadratic 4x squared plus 6x plus 9. Let me mention that, that uh, the quadratics cannot be factorial. These are prime polynomial, how we call it. And now let's move to uh, sum of cubes. Sum of cubes is similar. We have a cube plus b cube, if you remember equals a plus b and then we have square the first one a square switch the sign was sums now is a subtraction multiplied it two terms a and b and square the last one so let's see this number one uh, this one is x cube plus four cube so we're gonna have x plus four and then we square the x, x squared, we multiply the two terms, x and 4, and switch the sign and square the last one. Go ahead and do number 2, please. If you have um, this answer, x plus 3, the quantity x plus 3 times the uh, quadratic x squared minus 3x plus 9, then you did a wonderful job. The same story, these quadratics cannot be factored out. They are prime polynomial. And let's see the, two more examples on this one. Again, suggestion, write this first part. Helps, in my opinion. So we have 2 x plus 5 and then square the 2x for x squared multiply and switch the sign right the, the two terms so that gives us 10x plus 25 because we squared the 5 and we're done with number 3 pause it and try number 4 And if you end up with the quantity 3x plus 1 times the quadratic 9x squared minus 3x plus 1, that's wonderful. And let's see the last two examples, which are so similar to what we did before. The only difference is a sum. Again, GCF, all the time look for GCF. We do have our GCF of 2 in this case. And then we have a sum of cubes. And then we have x plus t, right? That is the first part of uh, factoring. And then let's square the x, x squared. Multiply the two terms, x and 3. We get 3x and switch the sign. Plus the last term square, which is 9. And that's the final answer for number 5. And do number 6.
If you have this answer for number six, then you did a wonderful job. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button uh, down right and come back on C-Square for more video clips. Thank you.